You're listening to Leah's Gals. A Mind's Eye Podcast production. Leah's Gals contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Episode 3, Thunder in God's Country. Hello? Hello? Sarconia! Mama! What in the world are you doing here? Sweet Jesus, honey, I've been banging on this door since the dawn of time. Don't tell me you couldn't hear it. We was asleep, Mama. Wally thought he heard intruders, so he, he sent me down to take a look. Your husband got scared, so he sent you down? He's got a heart condition, Mama. You know that. Don't start. Damn right he's got a heart condition, inasmuch as he ain't got one. Oh, don't start, Mama. I, I told you, we we was asleep. Now, what on earth is bringing you out here this time of night? It's... it's your sister. Clams? She brought you here? No, no, she didn't bring me here. She's, she's why I'm here. Why? What's wrong? What? What's happened to her? Nothing. Nothing's happened to her. Chlamydia's fine. At least in herself. Whatever that is. Then what's going on? I don't understand. I, I don't know how to tell you this, Pumpkin. I just feel so sick and embarrassed and, and, and most of all, sad. Sad for the both of us. What? What is it? She did me wrong, honey. Her own mother. And she did me wrong. A terrible wrong. Clams did? Yes, sugar. Chlamydia. But How? Why? Why is a matter between herself, her conscience, and the good Lord above. And maybe her lawyer, who knows. But the how. She just gone and tossed her own mother onto the street is what she did. Threw me out like I was garbage. I, uh, I, I can't believe she did that. Well, that's not my sister. No, that that's not Clans. Maybe it ain't nice to hear. Sure ain't nice to feel inside. Deep inside at the back of your womb where you once felt her kicking. But there it is. And now she's kicking me again. Right out onto the street like some worthless piece of trash. Oh, Mama, that's just awful. I, I, I can hardly believe my ears. Believe me, honey. It was a hundred times worse for me. It fair cut me to the core. The only thing that kept me from coming apart completely was the knowledge that I had one true daughter left, whose eyes weren't full of hatred and spite, but who'd look upon me with the love and warmth that I needed so bad. Oh, baby, so bad you wouldn't believe. That's, um, that's great. Mama? <laughs> it ain't great. It's just wonderful. It's the best feeling in the entire world. Knowing that someone just loves you for who you are and nothing else. Don't get no better than that. No, it 
It, it sure don't. And that's why we're here. We? Earl and me. Uh, she's here, too? She's back in the U-Haul, finishing up her Virginia Slim. Mama, now I don't expect us all to be unloading everything tonight. Because y'all got to be dog-tired. And Pearl and I ain't feeling none too spry, neither, after all that driving. So I say we get some shut-eye and face it all tomorrow. Mama, I... No, 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 I insist. I don't want you and Wally putting yourselves out on our account. We don't want to be no trouble to y'all in any way at all. Oh, Mama. I mean it. I'm serious. Mama, you ain't staying. What? Huh? You ain't staying, Mama. Maybe you for a little while, but not the both of you. What's that you saying, honey? We just ain't got the room here for you. We don't have a big place like Chlamydia does. This, you know, this house is small. And what was all of Wally's bikes and games and shit? We just don't have the space. But I... I don't understand what you're saying. Room. We just don't have the room. We can't take ya. But... But Pearl and me don't need a whole lot of space. We don't need a lot of room. Just... Just give us the smallest bedroom. We'll be just fine. We'll make it work. We won't be in your way. Everything will be just fine. Now, it's no use, Mama. It just, you know, it don't make sense right now. It may be in the future when we get a bigger place, but, you know, the way it is right now, it just ain't possible. Now, whatever quarrels you might have had with Chlamydia, I'm sure it weren't much of nothing once you blow the dust off of it. Now, why don't you both head on back there and tell her how sorry you are for what you said and make up. Apologize? To that stinking sack of dead flesh? Never. Not in a hundred years. I got nothing more to say to her for the rest of my days. The only other thing that reptile's going to be getting out of me is a wad of my spit on her gravestone when the good Lord finally sees sense and strikes her down. And I'm sure you'd be saying the same about me when the mood struck you. You, baby? No, never. Never, ever. You was always my angel. You was always the one with the biggest heart. So full of love for your dear old mama. That's why I'm here, see, sugar? I knew I could count on you to open up your heart and arms to your mama when she needed you most. I knew you wouldn't let me down. It ain't gonna work, Mama. What ain't? This game you're playing. What game? You ain't staying. I'm your mama, for God's sake. It ain't gonna work. But you promised. You promised me. I didn't promise nothing, Mama. But you did. You did, too. When I gave you the money, you promised me. I didn't promise, Mama. I agreed, is all. It's the same damn thing. No, it ain't. You don't break a promise, but agreements... Well, agreements don't always work out. But what am I going to do? I told you. Go back. I can't go back. There ain't no going back. Then I guess you're just going to have to figure it out. But honey, I'm... I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Mama. Look at me. Look at me. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees for you, begging you. You got to show me there's some loving inside of you for me. You got to. You just got to. Oh, stop this. Show me. Show me! What in the name of God's going on out here? Nothing. Get back inside. What was all that caterwauling? Nothing. Just mama. Yeah. Nothing. I'm nothing. Uh, well, she don't sound too good. She was just going. Oh, don't you worry. She's going. She ain't going to be messing up your nice pretty porch no more. But let me tell you this before I do. 
Life might have disappointed me more times than not, and you might have finally broke my heart for good on this here night. And maybe you ain't got it in you to look upon me as anything more than some used-up, worthless old bag lady right now. Some pain in the ass that's gone and outlived her use. But just you know this. As long as I got blood coursing through my veins, I'm going to find the will to make you and your sister curse the day you ever drew breath. I got a lifetime of bile all bottled up inside of me, so you better start praying to Jesus. Because it's coming your way, and you won't know when, and you won't know where, but when it does come, just know there ain't going to be no one shedding no tears over your stinking carcass. Because most folks know you're dead inside already. Why else do you think all them babies died in your belly? You got that? You got that! Man, she's really flipped this time. She ought to be locked up. I said, she ought to be locked up. Mm. What's got into you? You didn't take any of that shit seriously, did you? What? No. No, of course not. Then what? Hmm? What you acting so weirded out about? Oh, I, um... I got a call from Chlamydia earlier. And? Seems Bettina and that man of hers are fixing to head over there tomorrow to see Mama. Hmm. Nothing wrong in that. Except she ain't likely to be there. Clams reckons she's after a share of the money. She smells a lawsuit. Phew. What kind of a lawsuit could you make? It was your mama's money, and she did what she wanted with it. And a story. And what if they claimed she weren't in her right mind? She ain't! Oh, shit. I guess you got a point there. God damn. Yeah, anyway. They want us up there with them for moral support or whatever. Yeah, good idea. We better get up there first thing. We gotta circle the wagons and nip this in the bud before they got a chance to fuck us over. Now, come on back inside. I can hear that wind whipping up. Seems to me there's one mother of a storm brewing. What do you want from me? What else? What else? Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. So you can just shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it all down. Bring it all on. You think I give a damn? You think I care? Shout and scream and spit on me all you want. It ain't gonna change nothing for me because it's already fucked. So fuck you. You hear me? Come on. Strike me down, you lousy coward. Come on. What are you gonna do? Look at me! I'm already in the gutter. It's all a goddamn gutter. Let it all rain down. There ain't nothing worth saving down here. You think you're standing above me passing judgment? You think you can shout at me and piss on me and make me feel just about bad, as bad as anyone can, you two-bit bag stabbing son of a bitch? Well, you're too late. Too late! <laughs> I was damned from the minute they dragged me out of my mama's body. And they had to drag me, see? Drag me, cause I knew, I knew what a shitty place it was they was dragging me to, see? And I hung on, 
hung on with my fingers clawing at her insides because I knew. So I kept clawing and fighting, fighting, fighting ever since. And you know, you know, I ain't never stopped. And I guess when you weigh it all up, it's all a great big sack of shit that ain't worth fighting for no how. <laughs> That's supposed to fight me. That's supposed to shake me to the core. You telling me Mother Nature don't answer to no one? Shit, I ain't scared of you. Human nature don't answer to no one neither, see? We're a law unto ourselves down here. And it ain't pretty. Let me tell you something. I remember... I remember my daddy. And I loved my daddy. I loved my daddy more than anyone. And I remember him touching me. See? and putting his fingers where he weren't supposed to. And I cried. I cried. But it was my daddy, you know what I'm saying? It was my daddy, so I cried, but I let him do it. Because it was human nature, see? But now you're shouting down at me like I did something wrong. And maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. I'm just saying it's all nature. Maybe it ain't natural, but it's nature. It's all us doing what you made us able to. And maybe that's what we are. Maybe. Maybe your own flesh and blood don't mean nothing because it ain't flesh and blood. It's just skin and it ain't no deeper than that. Just skin, holding it all in, covering up all the dogs and jackals inside. Pelts on a bunch of goddamned animals, is that what we are? Because if that's it, if that's all we are underneath it all, then maybe it's... Maybe we should all just... Because I don't want to, I don't... I don't want to, I don't... I don't... I don't... <laughs> Please? Who is it? Who are you? Please, it's me. What do you want? What, what on earth are you doing hiding back here? I, I've been looking all over for you. What do you want from me? Nothing. I don't want nothing from you. No, why don't you come along with me and rest yourself a bit? Don't touch me. I ain't going to touch you. I, I just want you to be safe, that's all. Now why don't you come on back with me to the U-Haul? Pearl? That you, Pearl? It's me, honey. I can't hardly see straight. I'm right here, right here by your side. What you want from me? I ain't got nothing. It's all gone. There's nothing. I ain't leaving you, Lise. You can turn your back on me, but I ain't leaving you. I got nothing for you. There's nothing left. I got you. That's what I got. Don't need much more than that. I told you there's nothing here. It's gone. It's empty. I don't believe it. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Why don't you go? <sniffs> Just let me be. I'm going nowhere without you, Lise. So you might as well stop fighting me. But I'm dead already. Don't you understand? I'm dead already. 
I can't feel nothing and I can't love nothing. This is what I am. And there ain't nothing about me worth anyone's loving. Don't matter how you say it or what words you choose. It ain't gonna make no difference cause the truth is there ain't nothing here worth loving. I'm dead now. So just go. Go on. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, that's enough. You think I'm going to stand here like a like a drowned rat in the middle of goddamn nowhere and have you tell me that I don't have the right to love you because you decided you ain't worth loving? I hate to break it to you, honey, but <laughs> it ain't all about you. Fact is, I don't give a damn what you think you are or what you think other people should or shouldn't be feeling about you. Because these are my feelings I'm talking about. And I'm telling you that I love you and I am sticking by you because, well, I damn well said so. And if you don't like it, you'll just have to keep on bitching and moaning and crawling around in the goddamn dirt. Because that's the way it is. What? What's God into you? I ain't never heard you speak like that before in my entire life. Yeah, well, one of us got to start talking sense, and you sure as hell ain't doing a lot of that right now. Pearl? Huh? What? Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Pearl? Huh? Yes, honey. Well, I, I think maybe, maybe I ain't dead after all. Well, you'd be the one to know. I, I think, I think maybe there is a little something left inside. Just a, a little bitty ember deep down inside. But it's, it's still glowing. That's good. But is it enough, do you think? is for me. I never needed a whole lot. Oh, Pearl. <laughs> All right. Let me take a look at you. Lord have mercy, would you just look at you? You're soaked to the skin. You're a mess, honey. Now, come on. We gotta get you back in that truck and get that heater on before you catch your death. This episode of Leah's Gals featured Sarah Morsey, Haley Catherine, Todd Weekly, and Elizabeth von Isser. Leah's Gals is written, produced, edited, and directed by Andrew Biss. This has been a Mind's Eye Podcast production. For more information, please visit mindseyepodcasts.com.